Welcome to IFAB One Sports Live broadcast of high school basketball. I'm Sean Wells alongside Bob Kirkpatrick. Bob, we have a good one tonight. The Afraid of Boys taking on the East Valley Boys. and These are two of the top teams in the CWAC. Yeah, they really are, and we're looking for a real good contest here tonight. Afraid of lost their first ball game of the year last week to Ross, but bounced back big with a win against Othello last night, so they're back on track. Should be a great game here from Ephrata High School. You're watching I-501 Sports, and it starts now. Broadcasting live from I-501 Communications HD Studio, this is I-501 Sports. Come down to the last few seconds. He shoots. He scores. They take the lead and the win. Freda Boys hosting East Valley. Two of the top teams in the CWAC. This should be a great game here. I was able to catch up with the Freda Boys team before the start of the season and find out their goals and expectations. And frankly, they have a lot of goals in place. They think they have the talent and the players to make a deep run in the playoffs. The Freda basketball is gearing up for a new season, but the goal is still the same, make it to state. Head coach Brendan Evanson knows the task won't be easy going through the CWAC. Uh, they're all tough. You know, they really are. This is an extremely tough league this year. Uh, Wapto, Ellensburg are probably the, the two top dogs. And then you got Prosser, East Valley, uh, you know, those four are pretty good. Coach Evanson will rely on his team's speed and ability to shoot well all season. He expects all 11 of his players to contribute. All 11 of them. You know, they're, they're all good players. They're all going to play a vital role. Uh, we got five guys returning from last year's team that will step up and lead us in the right direction. Ten of those 11 players are seniors for the Tigers. Coach Evanson thinks that bodes well for his team throughout the season. Oh, absolutely. I, anytime you have a lot of seniors, they show a lot of great leadership and, and they know they've been in this program four years. Uh, I think that's very important for you know, team rules and, and our expectations for them. Getting close to tip off here from Ephrata High School. The Ephrata boys taking on the East Valley Red Devils. Bob, we know one player we need to watch out for. That's Lloyd Burleson for the Tigers. He was a star on their football field, their quarterback, and he's still a lot, making a lot of noise on the basketball court as well. He is. Uh, game against a fellow last night, he drained 22 points, and that's the fourth game in a row. He's, he's hit for over 20 points in a ball game. So, yeah, he's hitting his stride. A big player for this team. This is a very senior-laden afraid of basketball team, Bob. Right, and a lot of them uh, play uh, different sports, you know, together. So uh, a real cohesive unit out here we'll see tonight. Should be a great game. We're going to take a quick break and be back for your tip-off. Bud Clary Ford Honda is proud to be an automotive leader in our area. Since opening our doors over 54 years ago, we have kept a firm commitment to our customers. We offer a wide selection of vehicles and hope to make the car buying experience as quick and hassle-free as possible. You can trust that we will get you into the car or truck of your dreams. Bud Clary has an experienced and reliable service and parts department that is open extra hours to help fit our customers' hectic schedules. Come for a test drive today at 1200 South Pioneer Way. We are a proud supporter of Columbia Basin Athletics. Well, one thing I knew from being a patient myself was that a dental office is a scary place to come to. And so we wanted everything possible to make sure that our office is a comfortable place for our patients to visit. And the patients that I have, my clients, have made me a part of this community and we want to give back in every way possible. Are your kids rough on your furniture? Things looking a little run down? 
Then come to More Furniture in Afreda and we can help get things back in order. We have all the top name brands made with strong quality support, including Sealy Posturepedic mattresses. Because whatever you do in bed, Sealy supports it. The next time your furniture is in need of some replacing, stop into More Furniture in Afreda, locally owned and trusted for over 100 years. Starting lineups getting underway for both teams. A nice crowd on hand here, Bob. Yeah, they actually really started filling up here for the boys' game, uh, despite the uh, Seahawks game on TV. So, yeah, it'd be nice. Uh, I think the home crowd's expecting a good one from, from the Tigers here. And, a, and an update for all of you out there wondering what that score is. Seahawks are up 14-10 to 10 right now. That game's in the third quarter, so we'll keep a track on that and give you an update here or there throughout this ball game. Well, you know, again, we're going to probably see a really competitive game here tonight as both teams are tied at 8-1 at the top of the, the CWAC conference. Yeah, so we know about Lloyd Burleson, but a couple of these other players, Gunnar Blankenship's had a great season along with Connor Martin and Austin Sandberg. Yeah, Gunnar Blankenship is uh, dead from uh, dead eye, you know, deadly. Uh, actually, I'll get the words out. <laughs> still breathing three, out there, I yeah, think. From, yeah, from the three-point range. Yeah, that, he's a sharp shooter for sure for the Freda. So this is a team that he's pretty, doesn't have a lot of height, but they are, like you said, deadly from the outside shooting three-pointers and, and very senior-laden. Yeah, that, not a lot of height, but you know what? They've got some uh, pretty strong bodies out there, and you'll see them uh, putting on, laying a, laying a few uh, few hits on some of the East Valley players out there last night, uh, tonight as they, uh, they hustle for the rebounds there. And I know, like, we caught up with head coach Brennan Evenson but before the start of the season. He was saying, hey, this might be one of the deepest teams I've ever had. And he thinks this this for the team can make a run, not only in the CWAC, but make it to state. Yeah, definitely. They do have the pieces in place. And, and what, what really helps, is, uh, you kind of alluded to, is they've got a lot of depth this year on the bench. So uh, Evenson isn't afraid to put anybody in on the court at any time during the ball game. The Tigers did have their first hiccup this week, though, Bob, losing to Prosser. Yeah, it still was a pretty competitive game, 73-62, but they did bounce back big last night, a 72-45 win over the Huskies at Othello. So uh, nice to see him uh, light the ship. And the Red Devils only have one conference loss themselves, and that was to Ellensburg, so both teams with just one conference loss. And like we said, this should be a great matchup tonight. Yeah, East Valley beat up pretty, uh, beat Toppings up pretty good last night, 61-27. And their only loss, like you said, was to the Bulldogs. It was a 61-51-50 ball game, and that was back uh, before the Christmas break. Just to back to get started here. Looks like the refs are talking to a coach, making sure both teams are ready. Fans fired up there in the student section for the Tigers. Definitely. Yeah, they're always pretty boisterous out here. And we're off. Team's getting on the court. Looks like the same starting lineup the Tigers have had throughout the season. Yeah, you know what, uh, they're pretty good out there. Like I said, they're all on the same page right now and playing well, so not going to change anything up. Boy, those red jerseys are uh, bright for uh, East Valley. Can't miss them. Definitely. All right, I think the coaches got things straightened out there and we're about ready to play. Tip is up, and they're gonna have to redo that one. Yeah. Nobody uh, tipped the tip. Well, you gotta kind of throw the ball straight up in the air too, you know. <laughs> and that one works. East Valley's gonna have the ball first. There's a pass down low. A nice strong move and a nice little dish pass there, but. Uh, nice rebound there by the Tigers. Yeah, Quick push up the chip. floor. Strong rebound by Blankenship. Burleson with 
Burleson with a shot from three, but Tigers keep, keep possession here with an offensive rebound. Here's a chance for three again. That one's off the mark, but Tigers not afraid to shoot early. No, Mason Buchard out there. I think we might see a pretty fast-paced game here, Bob. No, no doubt, yeah, and, and neither one of them are going to be shy to put the ball up. Yeah, nice pressure defense by Freda East Valley. will keep possession. Shot clock uh, reset here. Yeah, it looks like that shot clock never started, so they're going to move it to 27 seconds. Actually still, uh, they'll settle on 31. Got a lot to keep track of out there if you're an official for sure. Yep. And we're back. East Valley with the ball still a scoreless game here, 0-0. Just underway here in the first quarter. Screen up top and East Valley Nice little pick and roll move there, but that one's no good. Nice defense by the Tigers and have an offensive rebound on East Valley. That looks like it might have been uh, one of uh, the Red Devils' bread and butter plays. They've gone to that twice already here in the opening moments. Fouls on number 22, Anthony Navarro. Not shooting foul. Anthony Navarro with the foul there. Non-shooting. First team foul on the Red Devils. Tigers quickly pushing the ball up the court, but some pressure defense right for East Valley kind of had to slow them down a little bit. Yeah, good effort by Alex Mendoza, the Red Devils. Pass down low to Burleson, feeds it back up top. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Tigers trying to find some open space. Four seconds. You gotta pull one up. There's no time left. Here's a shot by Johnson. It, it hit the rim. It looked like it hit the side of the rim, but the trail official didn't see it. It hit the rim, but uh, yeah, it looks like the ref wasn't in the right place to see it, so East Valley will take over possession. Good backcourt pressure by the Tigers. And a nice defense by Lloyd Burleson and the Afraid of Tigers a quick push up the floor. They're going to whistle the hook for a travel. Couldn't quite get under control there. Too bad, a nice idea. A nice pass up to Justin DeHoog. Just couldn't get his feet set there, Bob. Yeah, good effort. Just a little bit out of control. Going to be a kick ball on Afraid of. No, is it going to go off of East Valley now they're saying? Uh, looks nope. like the ref's still trying to figure out himself, yeah. but... We're going to say East Valley ball, but uh, afraid it's going to continue this full court pressure. Yeah, it looked like it initially uh, hit off of Johnson's leg and went out of bounds off the of Red Devil, but didn't get the call for Efreda. Back court pressure by the Tigers. About five seconds to get up over the court. Nice defense there by Josh Johnson. Red Devil substitution. KJ Ibox 70. KJ Ibox 70 in for the Red Devils. Quickly pushing the ball up the floor is DeAndre Garcia Stubbs. East Valley looking to get something going here. Both teams still scoreless, 0-0. Five, five and a half minutes left here in the first quarter. Tough defense out there, hard to get off a good shot. And there's the first points of the game. That's number number three, Alex Mendoza. Gets the bucket for East Valley. Josh Johnson quickly pushes the ball back up. Blankenship pulls up for three. And it's not often you see him miss those, Bob. He, like you said, he's a... He can hit those deep threes. Yeah, he's usually pretty on with that. Burleson with a nice board for the for the Tigers. A quick push back up the floor. Feed to Blank and Shipman down low to Hogue. Just misses on that try. 
Rebound by Stubbs. Good second effort. And a strong move to the bucket, but no good. Rebound Tigers. Yeah, it just rolls off the side of the rim there. Burleson's going to pull up from distance. A little too strong on that one, but rebound Blankenship. And East Valley will keep possession. Yeah, it looks like uh, both teams, like you said, are kind of cold here to start the ball game. We're halfway through the first quarter and only got two points on the board. Yeah, 2-0 East Valley. And what a move there by Stubbs. Boy. Yeah, it really was. And uh, as you boots it hard to the floor there. And luckily, I uh, actually got out of the way and nobody got hurt on that play. Yeah, as Stubbs was falling to the ground, able to just lay that one up. And he's going to have a chance for a three-point play. A couple of uh, subs in for the Tigers. Sten Monson in. Stubbs hits the, the free throw for the three-point play. Makes it 5-0 now, East Valley. It's a feed to a cutting Lloyd Burles, and he gets the bucket. Yeah, good movement without the ball. Nice layup off the left side of the glass. Tigers continue the full court pressure. And there's a steal by Blankenship. Greta has the numbers. Just couldn't hang on to that pass, but Tigers will keep the ball. Yeah, it went out of bounds off of Giandria Garcia Stubbs. Pass into Spencer Sutton, pulls up from mid-range, can't connect there. Tigers need a bucket down 5-2. Feed down low. A nice little post move there by the East Valley player. That's Isaiah Harris, 6'4", senior for the Red Devils. That's a strong move for sure. Blank chip a little off on that shot. Yeah, wild shot there. I'm not sure that's what Coach Evenson wants to see. No, and too early really on the shot. Yeah, exactly, but... We're going to have a foul called now on foul number 20, Josh Johnson. Into the Josh Johnson. The yeah, I think, uh, like I said, they're rushing the shots a little bit. Got plenty of time on the shot clock. And, you know, shooters want to shoot the ball, but you got to be in rhythm and you got to square up your shoulders and make a good shot. Connor Martin checks back in for the Tigers. And a nice block there by Lloyd Burleson. But still fighting for his rebound is Isaiah Harris. Tigers grab it and push back up the court. Tigers with some good ball movement, but can't find that open space. But there it is, Connor Martin for three. That's just off the mark. I'm going to say a push off there on Josh Johnson. That's a tough call against the Freda. That's his second foul. So he's going to take a quick breather. Three team fouls on a Freda, one on East Valley. Cameron Clark, a sophomore guard, will check in now for the Tigers. Uh, yeah, I was going to say he got away with the walk, but he didn't. <laughs> Extra step there by Alex Mendoza. They're going to call that every time. Yep. This isn't the NBA, Bob. We can get away <laughs> with uh, three, sometimes four steps. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, you, they file a flight plan when they plan when they take off. I'm telling you. And a steal there by Mendoza. And he gets the bucket. Makes it 7-2. Head coach Brandon Evanson is going to take a timeout for the Tigers, so we'll take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. Bud Clary Ford Honda is proud to be an automotive leader in our area. Since opening our doors over 54 years ago, we have kept a firm commitment to our customers. We offer a wide selection of vehicles and hope to make the car buying experience as quick and hassle-free as possible. You can trust that we will get you into the car or truck of your dreams. Bud Cleary has an experienced and reliable service and parts department that is open extra hours to help fit our customers' hectic schedules. Come for a test drive today at 1200 South Pioneer Way. We are a proud supporter of Columbia Basin Athletics. 
Well, one thing I knew from being a patient myself was that a dental office is a scary place to come to. And so we wanted everything possible to make sure that our office is a comfortable place for our patients to visit. And the patients that I have, my clients, have made me a part of this community and we want to give back in every way possible. Two minutes left here in the first quarter. East Valley Red Devils up nine to two. Over the Afraid of Tiger, it's been a real low scoring first quarter. He's a chance for three. That one's off the mark though. Rebound Devils. Yeah, not the ideal start. I'm sure Coach Evenson wanted to see out here tonight for the Tigers. Feed down low, nice defense by Afraid And a bad turnover, just a silly mistake there. Yeah, afraid a little bit out of sync here. So East Valley will have possession now, up seven. It's not like they're out of the ball game by any means early. They're just not hitting any of their shots. So once they start hitting, they should be good to go. Yeah, plenty of time left in this game. It's still in the first quarter here, a minute and a half left. Mendoza misses on that three-point attempt. Rebound Tigers. Austin Sandberg. Strong move to the bucket there by DeHoog, or excuse me, Drew Clark, but can't finish. And we're gonna get an offensive foul called on the Red Devils, a charge against KJ Amick, 70. So Tiger basketball down seven. And a strong pressure defense now by East Valley. Double team should have left the Tiger open but can't get the ball down low. Boy, Burleson's gonna pull up and gets that one off the, off the glass. First bucket for him. Yeah, they need him to get going here. Down five now, nine to four. Minnow left here in the first quarter. Nice feed down low, misses the layup. Rebound, Efreda. Nice push up there by Gunnar Blankenship. But another turnover on the Tigers. Yeah, just a forced pass in there with three defenders. Player tumbles on the floor for East Valley, but quickly gets back up. Again, pressure defense by Efreda, but a man's left open for three. Can't connect there, Tigers with the rebound. Yeah, Tasker on the shot, a little strong off the back of the rim. A cutting, nice move by Burleson. Cuts to the open space in the middle of the floor and gets that jumper, makes it nine to six now. Tigers down by three. Yeah, great assist there by Blankenship to get him the ball. Tigers slowly getting back in this game. Down only three points now. Just five seconds left here in this first quarter. East Valley going to take the last shot here. Mendoza pulls up for three. That one's no good. That's going to end our first quarter of play. Freddie Tigers up, or excuse me, Freddie Tigers down by three, nine to six. We're going to take a quick break and be back for your second quarter. Are your kids rough on your furniture? Things looking a little run down? Then come to More Furniture in Afreda and we can help get things back in order. We have all the top name brands made with strong quality support, including Sealy Posturepedic Mattresses. Because whatever you do in bed, Sealy supports it. The next time your furniture is in need of some replacing, stop into More Furniture in Afreda, locally owned and trusted for over 100 years. East Valley is up on top over Efreda here to start off the second quarter, nine to six. And they were up nine to two, but a nice little run there late by the Tigers, Bob, to get back in this one. Yeah, definitely uh, started hitting a couple of their shots. Burleson had a couple, and uh, might be a nice little springboard to start the second quarter here. 
Yeah, Burleson had a couple nice buckets there to end that first quarter. And Tigers do have possession here to start this second quarter off. Pass into Cameron Clark. Feeds it to Austin Sandberg, gives it back to Clark. Tigers being patient with their offense. There's a, a deep three attempt by Clark. That one's a little short. Rebound East Valley. Red Devils looking to get something going. Been a little cold after they've hit nine points. That's a strong move to the hoop. <laughs> Great rebound there by Clark. And there's going to be a foul called on. Number 14, that's DeAndre Garcia Stubbs. It's going to be his first foul of the game. Both teams with three team fouls. Tigers push back up the floor. Clark feeds it to Blankenship, down low to Dahoog. And that's going to be, looks like a three in the key called on the Tigers. East Valley with the ball now, back up 9-6. Bob, I see you shaking your head. You don't, you didn't agree with that call? I, I didn't agree with that call. I mean, the play was going through the key and uh, should have let it continue to roll. Regardless, East Valley now has the ball. Stubbs, a nice strong drive to the bucket. Can't connect, rebound Tigers. Nice board there by Martin. Push up the floor, Blankenship trying to feed to Hogue, but another turnover for the Tigers. And that's a foul on Efreda. That's going to stay on this side of the court. That's going to go against Blankenship. His first. Number 32, oh, they're going to go. They're going to wave it off and put it on DeHogue. That's going to be the first foul on DeHogue in this game. Fourth team foul for Efreda. Quick pass into the Isaiah Harris, and he connects. That makes it 11 to six now. East Valley. Yeah, it was a good inbounds play there by the Red Devils. And East Valley almost gets a steal there. Yeah, good hustle there by Lucas Juarez. A couple players checking back in for the Tigers. Yeah, Mason Butcher and Connor Martin. Um, Martin going out. Looks like... Uh, What's wrong on that? It was Blankenship going out Martin coming in. Refs talking over something here, Bob. Tigers only have four players on the court, so seems like it'd be okay if Clark checked in. Sure. Coach Evenson definitely giving his opinion on what's going on out there. Yeah, he's not happy with something, Bob. And again, we're trying to figure out what's going on exactly. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the call is here. That's they're going to they're they're gonna call a technical foul on the bench for Efreda. A legal substitution, they're going to say, on Efreda. I don't understand that he was at center court waiting to come in. Nonetheless, it's going to put KJ Ibach 70 on the line for the Red Devils. Yeah, still trying to figure this one out here up in the booth, and we, we really don't know what what that uh, illegal substitution was called for exactly. This is when we need a Mike Pereira down there on the sidelines. Where's our <laughs> sideline analyst down there talking to the refs? Yeah, it's not like we can call uh, anywhere to to get help here. Yeah, and that's the that's the thing. Both of the officials at center court were still shaking their head, kind of wondering what exactly was going on. So, well, he he hits one free throw. So, 12-6 now. Red Devils on top. Well, if you're the Tigers, you know you can't uh, can't let it affect you. You got to just go on and start putting some uh, balls in the hoop here. East Valley pushing back up. Here's his drive to the bucket. Nice. 
defense by Lloyd Burleson. Nice pressure and a rebound by Blankenship. That Harris is strong down low. He's strong, but boy, Burleson gave him no space to put up a shot. And very contested shot, and he missed it, and a nice rebound by the Tigers. Alex Mendoza coming in for the Red Devils. A deep three by Blankenship. That one's off the mark. But as we said earlier, he he can hit those ones from distance. Definitely, and he's been averaging 20 points a game over the last four games, so he's trying to find his shot here tonight, though. Yeah, he has the green light from his coach. And there's a strong move to the bucket by KJ Ibox Sevenji. Yeah, it looks like, looks like he got away with a little bit of push there, but... And a hard foul there by Plankenship. Got part of the ball, though. No intentional foul. So the Tigers are still scoreless here in this second quarter. 14-6. Red Devils up on top over Efreda. Just five and a half minutes left. Cody Tasker shooting two for East Valley. Can't hit that first free throw. Josh Johnson uh, will check back in for Efreda. Anthony Navarro coming in for East Valley. Harris going to sit down. Second free throw is up and good. Makes it 15-6 now. Red Devils. Pressure defense continues for East Valley. Tigers lucky they are able to keep possession this time. Yeah, near steal there by Tasker. Connor Martin with it, feeds it to DeHogue. A nice street pass to Burleson, and he hits that one. Burleson gets the bucket, makes it 15 to eight now. Yeah, he's got six of the Tiger points here, so they, they need to get, get a couple other guys going as well. East Valley up by seven. It really played great in this second quarter defensively-wise and having trouble there, but given you afraid a lot of fits on offense. Drew Clark back in the ball game. Gloria Freda, Blankenship sitting down. Josh Johnson will take over as point guard now for the Tigers. Little give and go with Burleson, gives it off to Connor Martin now. Johnson looking to give it down low, decides to give it back to Martin. 15 seconds left on the shot clock here. Here's a pass out to Bouchard. And he can't connect there, but he was fouled shooting a three-pointer. He's going to have three shots, Bob. Yep, yep. Uh, got a push there at the end of the shot, and he's going to go for the line, to the line for three, like you said. So Mason uh, Buchert's going to have a chance to put his team in double digits. Yeah, hopefully get him within uh, four points here. First one's up and good. See Kendall Sage here up in the stands. You know, uh, she took a couple of hard uh, fouls, went to the floor, and the last game got an ice bag on her on her elbow. Uh, let's hope she'll be all right for the uh, Lady Tigers next ball game. Chart misses the second free throw. Third one's no good. So we're going to stay in single digits for the Tigers, 15 to nine, and a quick foul. Yeah, kind of a frustration foul if you saw that, Sean. Missed two out of the free three throws and then uh, just a little bit uh, out of control going after that ball and grabbed an arm of an East Valley player. And that's going to put Red Devils at the line now, shooting one and one. They're in the single bonus. 
First three throws, no good. And Tigers hit the rebound, quickly push back up the court. Here's a pull up three. And that's no good, rebound Red Devils. Again, East Valley's up 15 to nine here in the second quarter. Here's a chance for three from KJ Ebox Sedney. And he hits it 18 9 now. The Red Devils have doubled the Tiger score. Tigers need to get it going. Another turnover by Ufreda. But nice defense there by Josh Johnson, and Tigers will get the ball back. Sten Munson coming in now for the Tigers. Nixon Bouchard sitting down. Burleson now with it, trying to give it to Drew Clark, but another afraid of turnover. And Mendoza coming up with the ball there for the Red Devils. Got a blood injury timeout here. Looks like uh, Mr. Burleson might have got hit in the nose down there. Yeah, looks like Burleson got hit in the face. So we're going to take a quick injury timeout and be back in just a moment. Attention business owners. The deadline is fast approaching to advertise in the 2015 edition of the Moses Lake local book. Don't be the only business left out. In print or online, it's the best way to reach your customer when they're ready to buy. Call today to place your ad by calling 877-738-9829 or by visiting us online at www.statewideyp.com. The Moses Lake local book telephone directory. Simply the best advertising. You don't need me to tell you that four and all-wheel drive time is on its way. But maybe you didn't know your local Toyota dealers are gearing up for the season with special savings on our top-selling four and all-wheel drive models. From tough Tundra trucks to our best-selling CUV RAV4 or Venza, the perfect blend of all-wheel drive with safety and style. Plus many others. The bottom line is exceptional four or all-wheel drive savings just in time for winter. For full details on these and other savings, visit any of your Inland Empire Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. So Lord Burleson had a, a tough blow to the face and we had some blood on the court so looks like Michelle Webb, the Afraid Athletic Director is out there helping clean that up. Yeah, and they took Burleson into the locker room so hopefully he's all right. Yep, every time there's blood on the court, the officials stop the game and, and make sure all that blood is, is off the court so it looks like they're getting that taken care of. Again, Tigers down by nine in this game, 18 to nine. Three minutes left here in this second quarter. Into the lineup for the Tigers, number 32, Justin DeHogue. Justin DeHogue will check in now for the injured Burleson. Well, this is definitely the uh, lowest scoring first half for the Tigers this season. Nine points, not a whole lot on the board there. Yeah, and credit this East Valley defense, Bob. They've played tough all night, give, not giving the Tigers anything easy. But, no. the, but the Tigers, I'm sure, will, once they get on that roll, they can string a couple buckets together, they can easily get back in this ballgame. Yeah, and, and, and like you said, I mean, East Valley's giving them a tussle, but it, I think it's more of not, them not putting a shot in it. Here's a strong move by the East Valley player, and he's going to get that and one. Isaiah Harris with the bucket for the Devils. Well, one thing's for sure, you can't be much <laughs> more cold than this, so I'm sure uh, the Tigers will come out and heat it up here in the second half. Harris hits the free throw. Three-point play for East Valley makes it 21-9. Nice strong move by Monson, and he gets the layup. Stan Monson makes it 21-11 now, down by 10. That was a big bucket for Afreda. Got to get something going here. Need a stop as well as a bucket.
Good defense by Josh Johnson. Tigers quickly push the ball back up the court. Pump fake there. Drew Clark now has it. Here's a deep three attempt. That one's off the mark. We rebound Harris. Like Burleson's back out of the locker room on the bench. Here's a three attempt. That one's no good. And looks like East Valley's going to keep possession. Yeah, it went out of bounds off of Monson there. The feet inside to Harris and a rebound. Tigers. Good looking inbounds play, just didn't connect up. Here's a three attempt for Connor Martin. A tussle for the rebound, and the third is going to keep possession. That's a good no call there by the ref. Pull up jumper. Just off the mark. Nice rebound by Johnson. Can't get the foot back. Too bad there, nice effort by the Tigers. There's a strong drive. Another rebound, Efreda. Looks like the Hogue might have got a piece of that. Or Clark, I mean. Uh, and that's gonna be a foul call in East Valley. You know, that kind of looked like a wild shot there, but he was going to the ground, did a smart thing, put it up in the air and got the, got the call. Heads up play by Connor Martin. Connor Martin on the line for two, gets the first one. First one's up and it's good. Second one hits as well. 21-13 now. Tigers get it back to within eight points. They can get a stop here, another bucket to be critical here. A nice, and a nice steal by Efreda. A quick push up the floor. Can't connect there. Rebound East Valley. Again, maybe a little quick on the shot. East Valley wants to slow things down a little bit here. But here's a wide open three attempt. And a rebound Efreda. Yeah, a little bit long on the shot there by Mendoza. And good board there by Monson. 19 seconds, shot clock is off. Tigers would love to get a bucket here before the end of this first half. Feed out to the Efreda player, just misses that three attempt, a nice rebound by Johnson, and he's gonna earn a trip to the free throw line. Yeah, not gonna get the bucket, but that's exactly why. He got his arm hit as he was releasing the shot. I box seven me with the foul. First free throw is uh, off the mark. Second one's good. Makes it 21-14. Just four seconds left here in this first half. Great is back in it though, only down by seven. And a deep chance from three. That one's no good and that's gonna and, do it. Uh, first half. That's gonna end our first half of play. East Valley up on top over the Freda Tigers, 21 to 14. We're gonna take a quick break and be back for your halftime analysis. Just when I thought the blizzard couldn't get any better, DQ put the blizzard inside a waffle cone. This is mind blowing. 
So when DQ asked me how I would tell the world, I said... <laughs> Sounds better in Italian. Pretty impressive, Liz. Any blizzard, like confetti cake, now in a fresh-baked waffle cone. This is fan food, not fast food. At Moses Lake Community Health Center, we have had the privilege to serve the local community since 1978. What I like about working at this clinic more than any other clinic that I've worked at is the patient care. With the patient care team that we've assembled, it allows us to take care of these many facets of the patient and their family's needs. Please take the opportunity to experience the high quality care provided at our clinics. When you find out about the DQ five buck lunch, all this food for only five bucks, you gotta tell people about it. So I situated nice. Frosty drink next to this juicy grilled burger and fries. Did my Sunday? Mmm. Boom. I just dropped a five buck lunch on all my friends. Get ready for a little five buck envy. Michael, we like your style. The five buck lunch. Entree, fries, drink, plus a Sunday. Only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. There's something new and exciting happening right now at your nearest Toyota dealer. It's the arrival of the all-new 2014 Corolla. Now featuring a new stylish exterior, plus a premium interior loaded with technology, including Toyota's Entune multimedia system with navigation. Corolla has definitely evolved. The best part is, right now you could take advantage of special introductory savings. The new 2014 Corolla, available at any of your Inland Empire Toyota dealers today. Toyota, let's go places. Hello, my name is Cheryl Kono. I am your local Efreda Farmers Insurance Agent. Here at Cheryl Kono Insurance Agency, our customers always come first. We don't just work here, we live here. Please stop by the office, call, email, or Facebook me for a free auto, home, life, business, or farm and ranch quote today. We are insurance, we are farmers. Come in for a free quote today. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Twenty-one fourteen, East Valley on top over the Freda Tigers here at halftime. Kind of a back and forth half there, but East Valley Bob really got off to a strong start in the second quarter. Yeah, yeah, they looked like the better ball club out there in the first half. It's still a close game. Uh, Freda down by seven, but uh, you know uh, Burleson has eight points for the Tigers, leading scorer. Uh, Hope to see him come back out in the second half after taking that shot to the nose. But uh, Harris has six there for East Valley, and Ibox 70 has uh, five, so. Yeah, if you're head coach, Evenson for the Tigers, what are you telling your players here at halftime? Boy, you know, um, we gotta remember uh, the things that we do well. We gotta come back out here, we gotta press the ball up and down the court. You can't stop shooting even though they're shooting a low percentage. I, they can't even be hitting 40% of their shots at this point. But you got to keep firing away because these guys are averaging 65, 70 points a ball game. It'll come. Real quickly, i fiber One Sports is a division of i fiber Communications, home of the fastest internet in the state of Washington and always top two in the U.S. i fiber One is also a premier provider of HD TV and digital phone service. If you'd like to upgrade your service, give us a call at the office. Our number is 754-2600. Again, 754-2600. East Valley on top over your trade at 21-14 here at halftime. We're going to get a word from our sponsors and be back in a bit. Bud Clary Ford Honda is proud to be an automotive leader in our area. Since opening our doors over 54 years ago, we have kept a firm commitment to our customers. We offer a wide selection of vehicles and hope to make the car buying experience as quick and hassle-free as possible. You can trust that we will get you into the car or truck of your dreams. Bud Cleary has an experienced and reliable service and parts department that is open extra hours to help fit our customers' hectic schedules. Come for a test drive today at 1200 South Pioneer Way. We are a proud supporter of Columbia Basin Athletics. Well, one thing I knew from being a patient myself was that a dental office is a scary place to come to. And so we wanted everything possible to make sure that 
our office is a comfortable place for our patients to visit. And the patients that I have, my clients, have made me a part of this community and we want to give back in every way possible. Are your kids rough on your furniture? Things looking a little run down? Then come to More Furniture in Afreda and we can help get things back in order. We have all the top name brands made with strong quality support including Sealy Posturepedic Mattresses because whatever you do in bed, Sealy supports it. The next time your furniture is in need of some replacing, stop into More Furniture in Afreda, locally owned and trusted for over 100 years. Attention business owners. The deadline is fast approaching to advertise in the 2015 edition of the Moses Lake local book. Don't be the only business left out. In print or online, it's the best way to reach your customer when they're ready to buy. Call today to place your ad by calling 877-738-9829 or by visiting us online at www.statewideyp.com. The Moses Lake local book telephone directory. Simply the best advertising. You don't need me to tell you that four and all-wheel drive time is on its way. But maybe you didn't know your local Toyota dealers are gearing up for the season with special savings on our top-selling four and all-wheel drive models. From tough Tundra trucks to our best-selling CUV RAV4 or Venza, the perfect blend of all-wheel drive with safety and style. Plus many others. The bottom line is exceptional four or all-wheel drive savings just in time for winter. For full details on these and other savings, visit any of your Inland Empire Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. Just when I thought the blizzard couldn't get any better, DQ put the blizzard inside a waffle cone. This is mind-blowing. So when DQ asked me how I would tell the world, I said... <laughs> Sounds better in Italian. Pretty impressive, Liz. Any blizzard, like confetti cake, now in a fresh-baked waffle cone. This is fan food, not fast food. At Moses Lake Community Health Center, we have had the privilege to serve the local community since 1978. What I like about working at this clinic more than any other clinic that I've worked at is the patient care. With the patient care team that we've assembled, it allows us to take care of these many facets of the patient and their family's needs. Please take the opportunity to experience the high quality care provided at our clinics. When you find out about the DQ five buck lunch, all this food for only five bucks, you gotta tell people about it. So I situated nice. Frosty drink next to this juicy grilled burger and fries. Did my Sunday, mm, boom. I just dropped a five buck lunch of grandma on all my friends. Get ready for a little five buck envy. Michael, we like your style. The five buck lunch, entree, fries, drink, plus a Sunday. Only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. East Valley on top over Efreda here at halftime. Kings back on the court, warming up, getting ready for the second half of play. Bob, we should be in store for a very entertaining second half. Well, yeah, you know, really, uh, if your coach even said, even though uh, your team hasn't played uh, very well in the first half, you've still got to be happy you're only trailing by seven. So they've, they're still in the ballgame. Still got a good chance to pull this one out for sure. Very much still in this ball game. Again, two quarters left to play. Down by seven only. And let's see. Did you see if Lloyd Burleson came out at halftime there, Bob? Yeah, actually, he said uh, he was on the bench for the last couple of minutes of the second quarter. And uh, I don't see him going back in as a starter. Well, no, they've got the starter sitting down. So, yeah, it looks like he's coming back in. So, yeah, it looks like Lloyd's okay. That was a tough blow he had to the face there. Again, some blood was on the court. We had to stop play for a little bit, but he seems to be okay now, and, yep, he's getting back on the court. Like you said, he was quite the stud football player for the Tigers this year, so a little bloody nose not going to keep him down, not, not at all. Players back on the floor. East Valley will have ball first.
Stubbs, the point guard for the Red Devils. Feeds it down low to Mendoza. Stubbs with it back up top. Nice double team defense there on the big man. Cross court pass to Mendoza for three and he hits that one. A nice pass to the open player by East Valley. And a nice strong move to the hole by Gunnar Blankenship and he's gonna get a foul. Yeah, and actually uh, switched hands and drew that foul, uh, putting it up with his left hand. So good, smart move by Blankenship. He'll be on the line for two free throws. First one's up and good. That makes it 24-15. Yeah, Ivox 70 with the foul. It's his third of the ball game. First team foul for the Red Devils here in the second half. Blankenship hits both free throws. Eight point ball game now, 24-16, just underway in the third quarter. Feed back to Mendoza, down low to Harris now. And looks like there's gonna be a foul called. That's gonna be on Lloyd Burleson. That's That's his third foul here, Bob. Yeah, got him, got caught with a little knee in the lower back there on Harris. Looks like there was an offensive foul there on East Valley. Going to go about against Evox 70. That's his fourth foul. Wow, and that's big because he is a, a big player, their biggest player on the on the team for East Valley, 6'6" forward so he's gonna have to sit for a while Tigers quickly push back up the floor here's a three attempt by Blankenship just off the mark rebound East Valley big rebound by Harris cross court pass to Mendoza he pulls up again from distance rebound Tigers Josh Johnson with the board pushing it up court Strong drive by Gunner Blankenship. Makes it 24-18. The grimace on his face, he was anticipating a foul, but uh, no whistle there and a good bucket there. Tiger student section starting to get a little, uh, little more life to him here. Yep, afraid it within six. Nice defense by the Tigers. Yeah, Josh Johnson got a hand on the ball there. East Valley have 12 seconds on the shot clock here. Feed to Mendoza, then up top to Lucas Juarez. Just five seconds on the shot clock. Dribble drive by Juarez. Can't connect, rebound Tigers. Blankenship shrieking, and that just Unfortunate there, a little dribble off the foot. Yeah, lost the handle on the ball. Twenty-four eighteen East Valley. Five minutes and forty-five seconds left here in the third quarter. Nice defense by Blankenship gets the steal. And no foul called. And he tries to drive, but no whistle. Stubbs quickly pushes back up the floor. Pass to Juarez for three. Rebound Harris. Harris trying to dish to Anthony Navarro. Yeah, I don't think Navarro was expecting that. Thought that Harris was going to lay it up. Into the lineup. Matt Estrada checks in for East Valley. Mendoza gonna take a seat there. Estrada is a six foot sophomore for the Red Devils. Pass inside to Lloyd Brewis, a nice feed. Yeah, good dump off to Josh Johnson for the easy layup. Nice heads up play there by Lloyd Burleson. and makes it 20 to 24. Tigers only down by four points. And nice defense there by Blankenship. The the Tigers, 34, Drew Clark. 
You can definitely uh, feel the energy starting to build here and the home crowd coming alive here and cheering on the home team here. Red Devils trying to extend the lead up by four points. Nice defense by Josh Johnson. Seven seconds on the shot clock. A chance for three, and he hits that one. Matt Estrada just checked in. The sophomore hits that big three for East Valley. That's a big shot coming in on cold off the bench. Makes it 27-20, Red Devils. Nice pass by Burleson. Clark just couldn't take advantage, but that was a good feed down low. Yeah, Burleson's had some, some really nice passes in this, in this game. He's got a good all-around game out there for sure. Here's a three attempt for Blankenship. He's going to hit that one. Just what the doctor ordered there for the Tigers. Gunner Blankenship starting to heat up. 27-23 now. Tigers only down by four points in this third quarter. Plenty of time. Strong move, but even better defense by the Tigers. Good double team down low, yes. And that's going to be a travel. Yeah, just drug his foot a little bit. Mason Bouchart there. Too bad. Yeah, it's unforced errors are what's hurting you. They're not... Not like East Valley's handing it to them. They're just kind of making a few mistakes here. If they can eliminate those, uh, they'll go a long way here for them tonight. 27-23, Red Devils up by four. Three and a half minutes left here in this third quarter. Nice post move for the Red Devil player and a great rebound by Lloyd Burleson. Josh Johnson with a quick pace up the floor. Strong move by Burleson and a block by Anthony Navarro. Yeah, he got up. That guy's got some long arms. <laughs> East Valley going inside out here. And a nice steal there by the Tigers. Deep three by Blankenship, just off the mark. Rebound, Red Devils. Yeah, that's a long distance call there, boy. I was, I was out there. Trying to find Stubbs inside. Nice steal by Lloyd Burleson. We'll take it all the way. Yeah. I got stripped up there. Nice sportsmanship there. The Red Devil player hoping, helping Lloyd Burleson off the floor. Yeah, it definitely wasn't intentional at all. Just got the feet tangled up. But Lloyd will have a chance here to shoot two free throws and make this a one possession game. Flores second foul of the evening. First one's up and good, makes it 27-24. Pretty much the closest they've been since the opening tip here, so. Big free throw here for Mr. Burleson. Connects on the second, 27-25. Tigers down by two, two and a half minutes left here in this third quarter. Stubbs with the ball now for the Red Devils. Gives it off to Erickson. Beats it down low to Navarro with a reverse layup. That one's no good, rebound Tigers. Josh Johnson taking it all the way. Strong move by Johnson, but can't connect there. That's a tough shot when you're going up with your right hand on the left side of the backboard. Out of bounds, Tiger basketball. Yeah, just under two minutes to go here. Third period, two-point ball game. Nice pass by Berlin Shin to Bouchard. Yeah, good looking play, cut to the hoop. Well, you know, Bob, we had a tie game, 27 off. They are right here. Tigers fighting back in this game. 
Finally tied up at 27 all. Minute and a half left here in the third quarter. And we're gonna have a travel on East Valley. Yeah, a nice little 13 to six run here by the Tigers to get back in this ball game. Alex Mendoza is going to give Stubbs a rest for East Valley. Screen by Burleson. Burleson pulls up. Can't connect on that shot. Rebound, Red Devils. Mendoza with it now, gives it back to Juarez. A nice steal by Josh Johnson. Gives it to Blankenship, and a foul on the East Valley. That's gonna send Blankenship to the free throw line. Yeah, got hacked on the arm there. Looks like going against uh, Lucas Juarez. That's his third foul of the ball game, 14 foul for East Valley here in the second half, and Freda only one. Blankenship makes the first one. Tigers have the lead now, 28 to 27. Second one's good. 29-27, Tigers up by two here. Minute left in the third quarter. Really fought hard to come back and take this lead. They really got to hand it to them for maintaining their focus. Nice steal again by Johnson. Trada has the numbers here. Blankenship thought about pulling up for three there. But they're going to run something here, Bob. Drew Clark now with the ball. Strong move to the bucket. That's going to count. They're going to no. say a charge on Drew Clark. Oh, my. No basket there. Bob, you, I know you used to be a ref. Do you agree with that call? Those things are just bang, bang, you know, and you, it's a judgment call. So, yeah, you know, I, I, you can't fault him on that. No shot clock now. East Valley might hold for the last possession of this third quarter. And a steal again by Johnson. That's three steals and just a couple minutes of play. Quick hands, quick feet. Freda going to hold it for the last shot here. Five seconds on the clock. You give it to Blankenship. He pulls up. Just off the rim and no good. But a great third quarter for the Freda Tigers. They come back and they take the lead now up 29-27. We're going to take a quick break and come back to the fourth quarter. There's something new and exciting happening right now at your nearest Toyota dealer. It's the arrival of the all-new 2014 Corolla, now featuring a new stylish exterior, plus a premium interior loaded with technology, including Toyota's Entune multimedia system with navigation. Corolla has definitely evolved. The best part is, right now, you could take advantage of special introductory savings. The new 2014 Corolla, available at any of your Inland Empire Toyota dealers today. Toyota, let's go places. Heck of a comeback there by the Tigers in that third quarter. And Bob, we still got another quarter to play. Yeah, but by the looks of the score, you think we'd have an old uh, second half to play. Kind of a little uh, output here tonight by both teams that were averaging well over 60 points a ball game. But it's a good one. Yeah, we thought this was going to be an entertaining second half. And boy, it sure has been in that third quarter. Josh Johnson now with the ball for the Tigers. Feeds it off to Blankenship. Quick pull up from distance. No good there. Red still, Devil basketball. Yeah, still 30 seconds left in the shot clock when he pulled that up. I know he's trying to hit the shot and wire the spark and get him going, but uh, that played a little smarter out there. Here's a pull up three for East Valley. No good rebound, Tigers.
Feed over to Bouchard. Burleson with it now. He's it back up top to Blankenship who feeds it to Johnson. Back to Burleson. And Burleson hits the 12 footer. 31 27 now, Tigers. post move there but an even better defense by the Tigers and a nice rebound there by Justin Deho. Yeah good position there by Burleson down low. Burleson with a strong drive to the bucket and he'll get a foul. That's going to go against Isaiah Harris. <laughs> no nope, they're going to call it on DeAndre Garcia Stubbs. Looked like Harris with the reach. That's the third foul on Stubbs. 15 foul for East Valley. First free throw is no good. Here comes Ibox 70 for the Red Devils. Again, he has four fouls, but a big presence down there. 6'6 six, six post player for East Valley. He's got fresh legs now because he's sat a good part of that third quarter. And the tallest player for Eddie Fred is six foot, so he's got six inches on the tallest Tiger player. We'll see if they try to feed him down low. Tigers up by five. Rebound Efreda. Good position there by Butcher. Pump fake by Blankenship trying to go low cross-court pass in and out rebound Johnson and they're saying he stepped on the line tough call keep it at 32 27 Tigers up by five six minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter home crowd calling for a stop here Good double team up top. A three attempt by Mendoza. That one's no good. Nothing but air on that one. But a rebound by East Valley. And they're gonna be, that's going to be a foul on Efreda. Lloyd Burleson with the foul. is second. Third team foul on Efreda. And we have a final from Century Link. Seahawks take down the Panthers 31-17. Yeah, they're moving on. We'll see who they're gonna play, uh, Packers or Cowboys. Rebound Burleson. Quick push up the floor. Feed down low to Burleson. That one goes through his legs. Yeah, through the wickets there. A little low pass though. Stubbs now has it for the Red Devils. Cross court pass to Mendoza. Feedback to Stubbs. Gives it to Mendoza down low to Harris. Double dribble. That's going to be afraid of basketball. Boy, uh, the Red Devils don't waste time passing that ball around. They're quick, crisp passes out there. Josh Johnson with the ball up top. Gives it off to Blankenship. Gives it right back to Johnson. Great at taking a little bit more time now on the shot clock. A smart move here. With, but a three-second call there on the Tigers. <laughs> Justin DeHoog into the ball game. Drew Clark going to sit down. Big body coming in for the Tigers there. Feed over to Mendoza. Gives it to Sebney. And he hits from distance. 
a big shot. We get a timeout here by East Valley. KJ Ibach, 70, hits from deep, makes it 32-30. Tigers up by two. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, my name is Cheryl Kono. I am your local Efreda Farmers Insurance Agent. Here at Cheryl Kono Insurance Agency, our customers always come first. We don't just work here, we live here. Please stop by the office, call, email, or Facebook me for a free auto, home, life, business, or farm and ranch quote today. We are insurance, we are farmers. Come in for a free quote today. We are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Tigers up by only two points now, Bob, 32-30. It's been a, right when it looks like Freitas can pull away, East Valley gets a big shot, keep it close. Yeah, I like 70 there with the uh, big tray to get within two. So Tigers up by two, four and a half minutes left here in this fourth quarter. Both teams tied for first in the CWAC Conference at seven and one, so a big game in the conference standings. This is huge. Blanking chip for three, that one's no good. Good defense by Blanking Chip. And, and that's gonna be a, yeah, looks like a kick ball there on Doho. Yep. They reset the shot clock there for East Valley. Just four minutes left in this game. Mendoza now with the ball, feeds it down low to Harris. And it looks like Harris stepped on the line. Yep. He's gonna be afraid of basketball. Well, I can't remember the last time I saw so many cross court passes in a couple of ball games here tonight. Uh, taking a lot of chances there. Tigers with the ball, up by two, 32 to 30. He down low to Bruce and gives it back to Johnson for three. And he gets the roll. Talk about a Shears touch there, Bob. Definitely take that one for sure. 35-30, Tigers now up by five. Mendoza gets it down to Harris. And he loses it. Steal by the Tigers. And Blankenship. Almost gets that in. That's going to be a foul, though, called on East Valley. He'll shoot two. You think that's going against Juarez? You know, got to be impressive with the defensive effort by Burleson down here, down low. He's a little bit shorter, you know, giving away a few inches, but he's bodies up and uh, keeps his guy out of the paint. Got to hand it to him. First one's up and good. 36 to 30 now. Tigers extend their lead. Yeah, and only three team fouls on Afredo. That's big down the stretch here. 37-30. Tigers. Three minutes left here in this fourth quarter. A big game in the CWAC standings. Next foul against East Valley will put Afredo uh, in the bonus. Mendoza with a strong drive. Rebound Harris, and he gets the put back. Yeah, lucky no call there on Butcher. Almost cut him off there, but... Makes it 37-32. No need to be in a hurry here, really. And yeah, that's good. Boy Burleson making the tough shots. Up 39-32. Now Tigers up by seven. You could hit every point on that rim there on that shot. Harris down low. Stubbs feeds Mendoza for three. And he hits that, boy. And they need that shot. Yeah, that kept him right in it. 39-35 now, tires up by four. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a minute.
Bud Clary Ford Honda is proud to be an automotive leader in our area. Since opening our doors over 54 years ago, we have kept a firm commitment to our customers. We offer a wide selection of vehicles and hope to make the car buying experience as quick and hassle-free as possible. You can trust that we will get you into the car or truck of your dreams. Bud Clary has an experienced and reliable service and parts department that is open extra hours to help fit our customers' hectic schedules. Come for a test drive today at 1200 South Pioneer Way. We are a proud supporter of Columbia Basin Athletics. Boy, Bob, seems like every time East Valley needs a big shot to stay within reach, they they somehow get it. So a three-point shot there, cuts the lead back down to four. Tigers up 39-35. Yeah, you know, and uh, I mean, they're a good ball club, and uh, they're starting to shoot well here in the second half. But uh, we got a good one here. Four-point game, two minutes to go. Nice crowd on hand, too, here from the Freda High School gym. Two minutes left here in this ball game. Pass into Blankenship. Feeds it to the Hope. Blankenship with it. Now Burleson. Blankenship looking to call something. Gives it off to Bouchard. You don't want to get too conservative here. Gives it to Johnson. Johnson feeds Burleson. De Hope with it now. Thought about pulling up. A nice, a nice move there. And that's going to be a foul on East Valley. Yeah, I got a break there, I think, under, for, for afraid of eight seconds left on the shot clock, but there was a grab. There was definitely a grab. And they are in a bonus now. They're going to go to uh, the line for one and one. That's no good. Offense, or excuse me, defensive rebound by East Valley. Juarez with it now. Juarez is going to pull up. That one's no good. Rebound and a foul on the Tigers. Going to go against Burleson. It's his third of the evening here. Fourth team foul on Freda. About 70 on the line. Ibach hits the first free throw. The bounce there. And he hits both. We're back to a two point ball game here, 39 37. So quickly here, Bob. Tigers are up by two. What do you want here on this possession? Well, what I want you, what I would like them to, or if I was a coach, you want to come down, you want to set a good offensive play, you want to take some time off that clock, but you can't get too conservative on a two-point ball game. You got to have a bucket this trip down. And if you're East Valley, you just play tough defense here, right? You don't look to foul. Definitely. I mean, they were they were already in a bonus, so you certainly don't want to uh, stop the clock and let afraid to put points in the hoop. And boy, we've talked about Lloyd Burleson being a tough player, but he's also made some great passes in this second half. Yeah, he's uh, got a good all-around game, strong on the boards, good team leader out there. So East Valley calling the timeout. They're trying to, to get something going here. They need a stop and need a bucket. And Tigers, if they get a bucket, they can make this a two-possession game. Up to 39-37 right now. Again, only a minute and a half left. Both teams tied for first currently in the CWAC standings. Red Devils with uh, full court pressure here. Pass into Johnson. Too early to foul yet. Trapped there by East Valley. But he gets it back to Burleson. Now here's Dehoga's strong move and a foul on East Valley. That's exactly what you got to do. You got to take it to the hoop and hope to draw the foul and that's exactly what he did. Isaiah Harris, only his second foul, but Dehoga is shooting foul, so he will shoot two free throws. Can't connect on the first one. 
Every point so important late in this game. Got to hit this one here to make it a three point spread. Hits the second one. Tigers back up by three, 40 to 37. I'm going to take a quick break and be back for the rest of your game. Well, one thing I knew from being a patient myself was that a dental office is a scary place to come to. And so we wanted everything possible to make sure that our office is a comfortable place for our patients to visit. And the patients that I have, my clients, have made me a part of this community and we want to give back in every way possible. Tigers up by three, 40 to 37. A minute 20 left in this ball game. Stubbs with the ball now for the Red Devils. Feeds it to Juarez. Trying to feed Harris down though, they get it to him. Working on Burleson and a steal. Actually, they're gonna call a foul on Burleson. No, I think it's gonna, he might be going against uh, DeHogue there. Now they're saying Lloyd Burleson. And that's his fourth foul. Yeah, Bob, I, I I thought that was some tough defense there by Lloyd, but the ref saw it differently. Yeah. Stubbs now with the ball for the Red Devils. Closely guarded by Josh Johnson. Under a minute to go. Harris with some nice dribbling, and he gets the bucket. Mendoza going for the quick steal there and fouls Johnson. Yeah, not a smart play there, actually. Tigers in the single bonus, so he'll shoot one and one. A big free throw attempt here, Bob. Most definitely. Free throw is up and no good. So we'll stay at 40 to 39. Tigers up by one point, just 47 seconds left. Ball out of bounds off of Burleson. East Valley basketball. Stubbs with the ball for the, for the Devils. They've got a couple of fouls, or at least one foul to give here. And they're going to call a foul on the Tigers. Still should be out of bounds. Looks like that's going to go on Josh Johnson. Non-shooting foul, the 16 foul for Freda. So 40-39 here, Bob. Tigers up by one point. They want to play some great defense here, but if you're East Valley, what's your go-to play? Pretty loud in here, Sean. Sorry, yeah. Um, they definitely need to come in and get a bucket here. They're only up by one point. Yeah, if you're the Red Devils, I would think to try to find maybe Harris down low, their big playmaker. And if you're the Freddy Tigers, keep playing that tough defense. Lloyd Burleson's done a great job down there. Inbounds pass goes to Mendoza. Gives it to Juarez. And Juarez can't hold on to it, but he gets it back. 24 seconds on the shot clock, 23 on the game clock. I don't know why they have the shot clock on. Feed down low to Harris, and a punch out by the Tigers. Timeout, Efreda. A full timeout by the, excuse me, by East Valley. So we'll take a quick break and be back in just a minute. Are your kids rough on your furniture? Things looking a little run down? Then come to More Furniture in Afreda and we can help get things back in order. We have all the top name brands made with strong quality support, including Sealy Posturepedic mattresses. Because whatever you do in bed, Sealy supports it. 
The next time your furniture is in need of some replacing, stop into more furniture in Afreda, locally owned and trusted for over 100 years. Tigers up by one point here, just 15 seconds on the clock. East Valley with the inbounds pass. Harris with the ball now. A drive to the hoop. Allen's no good. A fight for the rebound. A pull up jumper, rebound Tigers. We got a jump ball here. They're gonna say jump ball. We've got two different calls out here on the floor. Let's see what they're going to call here. Referees huddling together, trying to figure out the call. One had a tie-up, the other had a foul. It should be the uh, lead official's call down on the baseline. That was his area. And possession arrow is for East Valley. So if it is a, a jump ball, East Valley will have the ball. But they're going to call a foul on East Valley. Tigers. They're going to have a chance for a couple free throws, Bob. Alex Mendoza with the whistle. A huge play in this game. A great rebound by the Tigers. And two shots now for Justin DeHogue. Probably the biggest free throws for this season of this season for DeHogue right now. To hold. Hits the first one. Needs this one and then no foul. I mean, no foul. Two seconds to go. Second one's up. It's good. Cool as the underside of the pillow. Yeah, to quote the late, great Stuart Scott, I was just thinking the same thing, Bob. It's cool as the other side of the pillow there by Justin Day Hogue. So just a quick 30 second timeout. So they're up by three points here, Bob. If you're East Valley, you're gonna try to push that ball up quickly, maybe just one half court pass. And if you're the Tiger defense, stay on your man. You know, I would I would go full court press here because you don't want him to roll the ball up and just not allow any time to go off the clock. So I'd put pressure on him here. At least pick him up half court. Looks like Tigers will go with the full court pressure. Yeah, just guard against that long pass. We got two defenders back. Lucas Juarez, the inbounds passer for the East Valley. Throws it deep to Harris. Nice pass. That's no good. Tigers win this one. 42-39. Heck of a ball game. They had a look. They had a look, and Bob, if that would have counted, it still wouldn't have worked because it would have only been a two-point shot. Yep, yep. Good ball game. So a heck of a play there. The credit takes this one 42-39. We're going to take a quick break and come back for your post-game wrap-up. Attention business owners. The deadline is fast approaching to advertise in the 2015 edition of the Moses Lake Local Book. Don't be the only business left out. In print or online, it's the best way to reach your customer when they're ready to buy. Call today to place your ad by calling 877-738-9829 or by visiting us online at www.statewideyp.com. The Moses Lake Local Book Telephone Directory. Simply the best advertising. You don't need me to tell you that four and all-wheel drive time is on its way. But maybe you didn't know your local Toyota dealers are gearing up for the season with special savings on our top-selling four and all-wheel drive models. From tough Tundra trucks to our best-selling CUV RAV4 or Benza, the perfect blend of all-wheel drive with safety and style. Plus many others. The bottom line is exceptional four or all-wheel drive savings just in time for winter. For full details on these and other savings, visit any of your Inland Empire Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. Tigers get the win over a tough East Valley team, 42-39. Bob, what a resilient performance there by the Tigers to, to keep fighting and get back in this one and ultimately get the W. 
Yeah, you really got to hand it to the boys out there tonight because they pretty much trailed the entire ball game, you know, and uh, come back to win it. That puts them at 9-1 and one now on the season. They got a huge matchup in Ellensburg on Thursday. A huge win for the Tigers and a huge win in the standings. That moves them ahead of East Valley, who they were tied for first with. So a big win for Ifreda. Well, that's going to do it for us, folks. I'm Sean Wells. He's Bob's Kirkpatrick. I want to thank our camera crew, Krista Clausen and Mike Lines, our tech director, Nick White, and our producer, Spencer King, back in the studio. We'll see you next week.